Hey guys, what's up? It's Corey here. This is a Monday evening. Um, today is September 30th. Tomorrow is October. My God, where did the time go this year? Um, this video is basically going to be a video response to Steve Miller's vlog. Um, he is also known as the Chi Ranger. Um, really um, awesome guy that lives here in Seoul and um, uh, he does a lot of podcasts and stuff like that. You guys should check out his vlog. I'll post the link down below and um, as well as to his YouTube channel and stuff. So um, what he's doing is uh, he basically has a book of questions. It's called The Book of Questions and it's filled with a bunch of random questions and he used a random number generator online from random.org to select five questions. The first five questions that that random number generator selected. Um, he went ahead and made a video and asked people to respond to it, uh, reply in comments, or better yet, uh, make a video. <clears throat> so I wanted to go ahead and do that since I myself am a YouTuber and um, I should be using this as a venue to um, interact with the YouTube community, especially here in Korea, you know. Um, so yeah, because there's quite a few people that do vlogs and other stuff here. Um, anyways, so let's start with the five questions. Question number one, which is number 189 in the book can you be oh yeah can you be counted on to do what you say you'll do what does it take for you to trust someone um, generally yes I can be counted on to do what I say I'm gonna do unless some um, unseen um, circumstances um, come forth I don't know maybe I'm injured or something after I promise something or some kind of weird issue pops up with work or maybe transportation like a car breaks down and then I can't make it um, you know, I, I generally will try to do my best to fulfill any promises um, that I say I'm going to do or, you know, appointments of meeting people and that kind of stuff. So um, generally, yes, I can be counted on. Um, next part of that question is what does it take for you to trust someone? Um, when I first meet somebody, I like to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know, I'm not a very judgmental person um, when I meet somebody for the first time. Um, like many people, you know, you, you pick up on social cues, you, you see the way they um, present themselves, body language, um, that kind of stuff, and you just like interact with them and you get a feel for who they are. And um, most times you can kind of right away figure out if somebody is like, tweaking out, um, they're on drugs, uh, if they're drunk, um, that's kind of easy, um, you know, and then um, the, the harder ones to figure out are uh, if people are like not trustworthy, you know, you don't know, like somebody could be really cool for a very long time and then they ask to like borrow um, a pretty big amount of money and you know, if you're nice enough to loan that money and then they just bounce and you know, and they just don't care, they were totally conning you or something like that. Um, or you know there might be some people that uh, they're really cool and you know them for many years and all of a sudden they just switch like that and they just turn into uh, I don't even know it's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Mr. H yeah did I say that right now <laughs> so I haven't read that book in a while um, anyways uh, generally I am a trusting person and I want to believe that everyone is mostly trustworthy um, I think most people on this planet are good people and um, I would say that um, for me to really trust someone um, would be consistency and time um, you know after many different little things how how often have they been um, trustworthy and what, whatever it was and you know you kind of build a repertoire with that person and um, yeah so then you develop a relationship um, with that person and you can trust them in handling different things or you know providing you with help and that kind of stuff so um, second question number 59 in the book by controlling medical research funds you are in the position to guarantee that a cure will be found in 15 years for any disease you choose unfortunately no progress on any others would be made during that period would you target one disease uh, in 15 years? That's a long time. No, I would not target one disease. Um, that the, the benefits of just focusing on one disease and eradicating that from society, wow, that sounds nice, but in 15 years, 
what is the negative impact of all those other diseases being, um, you know, not looked at or researched into? Um, you know, if all of the diseases are being researched at the same time, within 15 years, how many um, different diseases will have a cure um, that is discovered? I don't know. Um, so I think I would lean to no on that answer. Um, would you target one disease? No. I would prefer to um, research many diseases and try to help as many people as possible. And um, that's just how I feel. Um, third question, which is number 187 in the book. It's a nice restaurant. After getting the check for an excellent meal, you notice that you are not charged for one of the items you ate. Would you tell your server? Absolutely. Um, I've worked in the food industry um, for quite a few years and um, I have a lot of friends that are currently still working in the food service industry and um, you know if if I saw something like that on my receipt where somebody didn't put something I would definitely be like oh hey you, by the way you forgot to put this on there um, it's just to be fair it's to be honest I, I want to live an honest life I don't want to like, be like oh they didn't put it on here let's just get away with it um, also that would um, you know, increase the server's tips. Now, I know here in Korea they don't tip, um, but in America, where I did work in the food service industry, um, tips are big, and I always tip 20% unless someone gives me a reason not to. And then um, you know, if I have mediocre service, I still tip 15, uh, maybe 14. It, it just depends on the person, you know, but generally 20% always. If they're really good, I go even higher, 25%, something like that. So um, if they accidentally forgot to put something on my receipt, I would let them know. And if they went ahead and just told me, oh no, don't worry about it, I, I didn't charge you for that, then that's cool, I'll accept that. I'll accept that as a gift, be like, awesome, cool, and then I'll just give them a little bit more of an extra tip, that's for them, you know? Um, next question, number four, which is number 21 in the book, uh, do you prefer to be around men or women? Do your closest friends tend to be men or women? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I prefer to be around whoever is cool. It doesn't matter of the gender. Um, whoever is cool and honest and just like a good human being, that's who I want to be around. And um, do my closest friends tend to be men or women? I want to say women, but I also have good friends that are men. Um, I think it's like a 50-50 kind of a thing. Um, yeah, that one's kind of hard to answer because you know, in society you come across both genders and, you know, as well as transgendered and whatnot. And um, I think um, I just prefer to be around cool people, like I said. Um, just cool people, honest people, um, good-hearted people. That's all that matters, you know. Um, number five, last question, which is number 44 in the book of questions. Um, you are offered one million US dollars for the following act. Before you are ten pistols only one of which is loaded. Oh no, you must pick up one of the pistols, point it at your head, and pull the trigger. If you can walk away, you do so a millionaire. Would you take the risk? Million dollars? No. Um, can I shoot myself in the foot? Maybe I might try that. Um, but shooting yourself in the head, uh, you're more than likely just gonna die if you did pick the wrong gun. Um, I don't wanna play any games or gamble with anything that deals with my life. Um, and secondly, um, a million dollars, that, that is a lot. I could use a lot of that to help my family and, you know, pay off loans and stuff. But that's not worth being shot in the head for. And also, um, you know, if you look at the bigger picture, um, money isn't everything. And so uh, I wouldn't take that chance. I wouldn't take the risk of playing basically a Russian roulette with 10 guns and for only a million dollars. Um, I would just any amount of dollars. I wouldn't even do it for a billion dollars, even though that's a freaking lot lot of money. Um, no, the answer is no. I would not do anything where I'm endangering my life um, or someone else's. Uh, you know, if, if someone's gonna have, die or have the chance to die, the answer is no. So, um, anyways, those are the answers for my five questions. Um, I hope you guys found that entertaining. And if you guys want to answer with your own um, answers to uh, Chi Rangers questions, Steve Miller's blog. Um, just follow the links down below. You can watch his video. You can see the questions on his page 
uh, chiranger.com and then um, yeah record a video use YouTube if you have a, a webcam or a cell phone use it this is the future this is 2013 I remember when YouTube first came out I was flipping out over just everything that was you know uh, possible with um, the in the internet and using webcams it was like wow such a new phenomenon so anyways um, record yourself answer these questions or whatever start a vlog do something all right I'll catch you guys later thanks for watching bye